Laurentian University is situated in the heart of the city of Greater Sepri. Surrounded by five lakes and nestled on over 750 acres of land, it is often referred to as an academic resort. Laurentian University has been in a continuous state of growth. Becoming nationally recognized as a leader in total sponsored research, Laurentian has more than 250 research projects in process, allowing students to work with professors that are at the forefront of their fields. Putting an emphasis on student success, Laurentian has the support and the facilities that encourage creativity and innovation. Laurentian has comfortable, flexible residences that feel like home, only better. Here, you get to design your own lifestyle. It's the reason more than 1,450 students choose to make one of Laurentian's eight unique residences their home. Your education includes far more than classes, exams, and credits. You'll find your post-secondary experiences result in relationships that change your life and friendships that last a lifetime. At Laurentian, you'll have countless opportunities to meet people, to share interests, and to find out so much about yourself that you didn't know. There are so many social activities to engage in, groups to join, and teams to support. Whether you're athletic, artistic, or simply love to get involved, you will find your niche among the Laurentian's many sports teams, clubs, and student groups. Come and discover what Laurentian has to offer. Yes, uh, dear viewers, welcome you once again uh, today's, on today's live show, organized by prominent consultant. And today is a live session all about uh, Laurentian University from Ontario, which is a public university, definitely. And today we have a very special guest with us, uh, Ellen, with us, who is the International Recruitment Coordinator for Asia. And definitely we'll be introducing with her very soon. But before that, uh, I'd like to say, uh, dear viewers, if you're watching this video, please share this video in a timeline. So the people who are interested for Canada, they can be benefited uh, through this live video. And definitely this video will be for one hour. So it will be completely informative live session where we'll discuss about all the things, including about the campuses, university courses, uh, entry requirements, scholarship, application process, and every opportunity you will have in Laurentian University. And definitely in between that, we will have some exciting videos by international students who are starting already in Laurentian University what kind of scholarship you can see in the uh, you know that in uh, here you can see on the screen that scholarship is up to 60,000 Canadian dollars so you must be wondering that actually why and uh, how we can you can get it and in what process you can get this kind of attractive scholarship uh, which is about 60,000 Canadian dollars it's not a small amount it's a, it's a large amount of scholarship and of course uh, you know that Canada always is a great destination to all of us because of the diversity because of the education quality because of the experiential learning and the education investment is completely returnable after your study and a very good place for settle down and because Canada is known as the immigration friendly country. So, uh, Elian, uh, we'd like to invite you, we'd like to welcome you in today's live session. And uh, how are you at all? And how is the days uh, in this COVID-19 situation in your place? Hi, uh, thank you for inviting me to join the live session. Uh, my name is Eileen. I'm the international recruitment coordinator at a knowledge university for Asian countries. And it's my pleasure to meet with you. Hello from Sudbury, Canada. 
And uh, now we are in May, and it's supposed to be spring, and then we still have some snow yesterday, which is okay. Um, okay. The winter, the winter is finished, so we're gonna have spring very soon. And the COVID-19 in Canada, um, in some city, there are more cases. For example, Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, of course, because they have a higher population. But in Sudbury, actually, we're doing pretty good. So the total amount of cases is under 60. And uh, the everything is reopening very soon. So we have some store open. Uh, La Lunch University is the first one in Canada, closed campus, and move all the courses to online. So we, our students, been taking good care. So everything uh, is online, it's running, we're working from home. So university is running smoothly right now. So we are expecting open our campus by, uh, by September. So, but we also prepare ourselves ready. If we cannot open September, everything will be online. So for international students, it doesn't matter. You can either study with us September in, in person, or you can study from your home, in your home country. Yeah, yeah so exactly. everything will be ready and then we're ready for you. Exactly. And I would like yeah. to re uh, request our viewers, if you have any specific question to study in Laurentian University, you can please mention your academic details, your passing year, CGPA, and if you have ILTS score also, you can mention that so that we can do the assessment on live and we can give some uh, um, I mean, feedback on live uh, about your uh, case. And of course, this live session will be in our timeline and it will be in our YouTube channel, so you can uh, uh, get you can get it at any time whenever you want. So, Elian, uh, actually, uh, as we know that Canada is one of the most popular destination for higher studies, as uh, we all know that. And uh, there are there are few provinces in Canada. Uh, Ontario is the uh, the largest and the oldest province in Canada. There are another nine provinces as well in Canada. So um, as per the location of uh, Laurentian University, how the university is and how about the location, because uh, location is a very important concern uh, from the students because they always prefer a good location, uh, good university. So could you please tell me about all these matters? Yes. Um, you know, Canada is a big country, and uh, Laurentian University is located in Sudbury, Ontario. Ontario is the largest province uh, in economic and the population, uh, and also economic center, financial center in the country. And the Sudbury, we are located uh, in the North Ontario, so we are 380 kilometers away from Toronto. Actually, we are the largest city in North Ontario. So if you feel from a, a Toronto, you go through the bypass Barry, we are the largest one. So Sudbury is the finance, um, economics, and the medical center of North Ontario. The, the city has been established back to 100 years ago because we have mining in this city. So Sudbury is a well known, the largest nickel mine in the world. We call the capital city of the nickel mine. And that is our foundation of our economics. And on top of the mining, we have a hospital, we have a Canada Revenue Agency, it's the federal government city uh, center in Sudbury. So um, on top of mining, we have a lot of different businesses running in the city. The population, we have 160 thousand. So maybe not too many for Dhaka, because I know Dhaka have so many, like, uh, I don't know, like uh, 1 million people there. <laughs> uh, Dhaka yeah. is, uh, I mean, it's more and more. Exactly. Like so, think of, uh, yes, it's very more, very much. Yeah. So, think about the Canada only have 34 million people. So, 160 actually is a big city. So, uh, we are talking about the immigration policy. Canada is a very friendly for international students, workers. I'm one of the international students. I came to Canada 10 years ago. I studied my MBA in Norwegian University, and the university looked after me very well. They gave me a part time job. And after I finished my degree, I applied for my work permit and I got my, my permanent residence. So I'm now I'm the Canadian. So I, I, I'm one of you. Like a, you, you, you are, you, you're going to be me in the future, okay? So yes. university look at the international school where I have my job opportunity and I can got my PR, which is easy for me. Like I feel like I can't believe I made it, right? But it's actually many me, my friends, and they, they use the same way to move to Canada if they want to, right? So and uh, on top of the regular immigration policy, we know like uh, we use the EE, like and now we have EE, and the student came here study uh, two years or three years or four years, and they got a three years working permit, and they work up to one year, apply for the immigration, and put it in the pool, then they give you a point, 
So you have a higher points, you got higher chance to be in, uh, invited for immigration. But the Sudbury has a new policy last year, and the government announced uh, the RNIP immigration policy, like a raw Northern immigration pilot city. They choose 11 city. The student, when they study here up to two years, and they can find a job full time, they can apply for PR right away. They don't have to wait for one year, so what right away. And then Sudbury is the largest one among all the 11 cities. So that being said, you have a more option, more opportunity studying Sudbury and got uh, your PR in the near future. Okay, so in that case, the du uh, duration of the course uh, must be two years, right? Yeah, 16 months. Six, uh, 16 months, yes. I mean, the four months. terms. Four yeah, terms. A, Actually, yeah, as you know, Ontario, yes, yes, in Ontario, if I talk about most of the people, they are looking for Toronto. Uh, and yes. uh, there are some of the cities like you know that um, uh, London and other cities, Windsor, mm -hmm. Waterloo. Uh, but mm -hmm. you know that Sudbury, uh, it is quite unfamiliar to our students. It's a quite new name. Sometimes people maybe they don't know about the city. So how the opportunities? I mean, in terms of the opportunities in Toronto, other cities. So how is the opportunity in Sudbury that after graduation or in in during the study, what would, what could be the opportunities uh, for work and other things? Would you please say about this matter? How is sure, that's a good, yeah, that's a good question. Um, people often only know Toronto, uh, Vancouver. That's true because before I moved to Canada, that's the only city I know because it's big, right? So when I came here, actually when I came to Sudbury, I found I like Sudbury better than the big city. The reason is number one: uh, we are the only one university in the city. So who is gonna compete with you, your classmate, and uh, nobody else? But if you're in Toronto, you have to compete with students from all kinds of universities, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, number number two, and uh, in terms of the job opportunity, and uh, if you choose some uh, study program that fit the city needs, for example, engineering, mining, environmental science, uh, computer science, and uh, some like a business, because we have uh, some like a government job here in business uh, area. Then you have a higher chance for the job, and the Laurentia University has the highest employment rate in the last ten years among all universities in Ontario. So ninety-four percent of students able to find a job within six months, meaningful job. So wow. why? Because yeah. So we give students lots of job opportunity placement and also hands on experience, and we have a smaller class size. Our professor student ratio is one eighteen. So you will be ready, you will be trained during the four years or two years study, like a master program two years and the undergraduate like four years, you will be ready to find a job. We have a career center to help you looking for a job. So as long as you are not too picky and you will be able to find a job. Okay, that's great, that's good. And how far it is from Toronto? How far it is from Toronto by drive? My drive is a three and a half hour, and we have an airport. So student, you are an international student, they fly from Bangladesh, from Dhaka to like Malaysia or Singapore, right? And they transfer to Toronto. And from Toronto, you wait one or two hours, three hours, and the connect fly to Sudbury is a 45 minutes. Wow. And from, yeah, 45 minutes. And we have and, a and, 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 and every day, how many flights are there every day from Toronto to Sudbury? 10, 10 flights. Ten flights. Wow. Then, then yeah, so so, exactly. It's very convenient, and uh, the airport is only twenty minutes away from the university. So wow. we will pick up. We will pick up students in the airport, right? So That's most right. of students they fly directly to Sudbury. And uh, uh, if you want to drive, so what is three and a half hour driving? Because all highway connect, so it's very convenient. And uh, it's very easy, no traffic. Because <laughs> yeah. I was in Dhaka two years ago, traffic was a little bit like. Traffic uh, is uh, our, actually, traffic <laughs> is our, uh, you know, now it's became a passion in our life, daily exactly. life. Exactly. We are very so used to about that. Yeah, the beauty about it in Sudbury, we do not have a traffic, okay? So from my house to my work, 10 minutes, I'm here. If the traffic, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, so that and, is uh, uh, Yes, yes. And I'd like to tell our all viewers in Bangla that the thing is that yeah. what uh, Ilian said that uh, that uh, from Toronto 
আপনি বাই ড্রাইভ বাই থ্রি অ্যান্ড হাফ আওয়ারে কিন্তু আপনি যেতে পারছেন এবং এভরি ডে টোয়েন্টো থেকে কিন্তু ফ্লাইট আছে ডোমেস্টিক ফ্লাইট এভরি ডে টেন ফ্লাইট সো আপনি কিন্তু ফোর্টি ফাইভ মিনিটস বাই ফ্লাইটেও কিন্তু আপনি টোয়েন্টো থেকে সার্টবেরিতে আসতে পারবেন এবং সার্টবেরি ইজ এ ভেরি গুড প্লেস বিকজ যেটা সে বলল যে দেয়ার আর ইলেভেন সিটিজ ইন অনথারিও দোজ হু আর গটিং দোজ হু গট সাম এডিশনাল রিকোয়ার আই মিন এডিশনাল অপরচুনিটিস লাইক ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ Uh, done a two years program or two years uh, course duration in in those cities so apni kintu jodi apnar job offer thake jodi if you have any job offer so immediately you can apply for pr you don't need to wait for one year work experience so it's a very good option that very quickly after finishing your course very quickly if you have the job offer you can immediately apply for pr yeah, the long term permit is low the long term exactly. is like l6 points or 5 points Yeah. Wow, great. So so it's a very good opportunity for you that uh, very soon you can apply as soon as you finish your degree you can apply for PR. So we will take on question uh, uh, Mr. Sadiq Hassan. Uh, he is asking that do you accept Duolingo English test? Uh, yes, yes, Sadiq. Yes, we are yes, accept. So we right? we accept Duolingo for direct admission is 110 for both undergraduate and the uh, master degree program but uh, keep in mind Laurentia University most of the undergraduate degree program and some of our master degree program we issue a conditional offer even you do not have a language test no else in the Duolingo don't worry you apply we give you a conditional offer you have uh, two options option one you can send your language result prior to, uh, prior to the enrollment that will wait for the condition from you and uh, option two you can come to Laurentia study our English uh, preparation program So we have a EAP English uh, academic preparation. So you have a two options. So for now, you do not have any language requirement. Don't worry, you can still apply. Okay. So Sadiq, uh, you can apply with Duolingo test. Kono samosa ne. Apni Duolingo the accept korbe ekhon. Ebe aite bishoy hoteche je apna jodi Duolingo ba IELTS kono ta ekhon na thake conditionally apni apply korte paren. Amader kintu undergrad e up to 15th of July amra application nite parbo. And for masters er jonno amra o nite parbo July porjonto if the seats are open. And next intake hoteche January. So January er jonno amra application ekhon amra nichi. So you are most welcome. Our email address, our contact number is. on the screen so you can uh, send your cv or documents to our email, to an email address for assessment so elen um, now actually we have learned about the city about the university and of course it's a public university so you know that people has has a mind set up about the ranking of the university they have a mind set up like when they compare with university of toronto mcgill macmaster uh, then university of alberta university of manitoba then in ontario bay some other university the windsor some of the universities are there so uh, i mean how the how the ranking of laurentian university and how good is uh, how good it is and in which part it is better okay so um i understand that i'm from china the china we have uh, over 800 universities and uh, some the number one in the world and some is nobody knows so the education gap is uh, very wide so the asian uh, student have the same uh, like a mentality what's the ranking of the university So you have to think about the Canada. Uh, it's a de- developed country. The, the education quality among the world is highest the one that highest the level. So all the universities in Canada, they all good universities. No university good or university is bad. Okay. So because we have a government fund the university and the education quality controlled by the government, and we launch a new program has to be approved by the uh, the. the department the government the education department we have the higher same qualified professor they have to have a phd they have all the publication so no university is good or no, no university is bad however every university has its own strengths okay so some university more focus on research some university more focus on uh, education like a teaching and some more focus on agriculture some more focus on uh, different science or arts Okay, so what is good about the Laurentian University? So we are, uh, we have the degree program, we have undergraduate, master, and the PhD, total 175 degree program offer for international student or Canadian student. Okay, and the Laurentian University is very strong in mining industry. So the mining industry involves uh, the whole economic cycle, um, geology, mining exploration, environmental science engineering and the mining supply 
and uh, also health safety. And besides the mining, we have also another unique program. For example, our school of architecture, we're the only one open in the last 40 years in Canada. We're very unique in Canada. We focus on North Ontario, uh, the extreme winter condition, how to build a building that's a green energy. And also we have a, a sport psychology. It's also very strong in our university. So when you look at the university, you look at the, what you want to study, you choose the right units that fit you. And then Laonation also have the highest employee rate. On top of that, we have the second highest uh, student salary. So a student found a job quicker than everybody else, make a higher salary than everybody else. So if that you're looking at, Laonation fits you. And we are also the first university, a government uh, recognized as a bilingual university, English and the French. So we're a bilingual university yes. area in Canada. So if you think about, okay, I want to learn something French during my university study, and then we are the one to go, because Canada is a bilingual country. So look into the university of video. Also, we are in Sudbury. Sudbury is a bilingual city. We have a lot of people, 40% of people able to speak English and French. It's different from Quebec. They speak French most of the time, right? And uh, so, yes. so yeah, so that's, uh, I mean, it's more safer. Sudbury is safer compared with another big city. So you're looking for safety. It's good for you to choose. So that's the stress about the Laurentian University. Okay. okay, that's great. And thanks for your explanation. And you know that now we'd like to discuss about the courses that you are offering uh, in uh, in the courses and the majors. I mean the programs under those courses. Like you are offering both undergrad and postgrad. So in all these undergrad and postgrad, what are the programs do you offer, and what are the you know that the, the what are the entry entry requirements for all these programs, and about duration, and also about the ILTS or English proficiency requirements. So. We can discuss about that. Okay, so we, our undergraduate degree offer in six faculties, arts, business, and uh, engineering, science, and also education and the health. So every degree program, except international students, uh, except our medicine school, we have a medicine school called the doctors. So medicine school only the Canadian PR or Canadian citizen can apply. But otherwise, every program I accept international students, including a nurse and midwifery, we welcome international students to apply. So the admission requirement, we accept Bangladesh curriculum. So if you're studying Bangladesh high school, and uh, the minimum requirement is a 50%, and uh, for your grade 12, then you can apply to Laurentian University. But uh, some programs asking higher admission requirement, for example, our nursing, we need uh, like a 90. And our midwifery, we need like 89, for example. So we need to have higher requirements. And uh, for the subject, uh, if you study like uh, in the, because you have science streams and the uh, long science streams, right? So if you have a math, and you can apply our business program. And if you do not have a math, you can apply for arts. If you want to apply right. for engineering, yeah. If you do not have engineering, uh, if you want to apply to engineering, you need to have a math, English, uh, chemistry, and the physics. Right, so depend on the subject. So some program uh, has a higher admission requirement. Like uh, for example, if you have three point five out of five, basically you can apply most of our, our undergraduate degree program. Uh, in terms of the else, the else we the direct admission is a six point five with a low bound lower than six, and uh, for the uh, TOEFL we're asking eighty eight. For Duolingo we're asking hundred ten. So if you do not have a long, exactly. long, long, yeah, if you do not meet the language requirement, you can still apply. You can still apply. So we'll give you conditional offer, as I mentioned. And but if you want to apply for the visa, have a higher chance to get the visa. I still suggest you uh, do the language test with a six point or higher. Then you have a higher chance to get a study permit, right? So for the master exactly. degree pro, yeah, for the master degree program, the the Language requirement is still the same, and uh, but for the admission requirement, it will be case by case. Most of the students, if you want to apply for master degree, you should have a similar under degree, undergrad degree in the same subject. For example, you want to apply for engineering, you need to have undergrad degree in engineering, but can be chemistry, mechanic, or mining, or civil engineering, electrical engineering, any engineering degree. 
And uh, we have a one degree program. You any this uh, any discipline can apply our MBA. You can apply MBA uh, degree program with any degree. That's okay. So for the high for the undergraduate undergraduate degree, our duration is uh, four years. But the sum of the program has a three years degree option. For example, computer science, mathematics, uh, biology, many arts program will have a three years degree option. Okay, so you can choose that one if you think three years is enough for you. Uh, for master degree program, most of master degree program, the duration is two years. But we have some degree has a one year option. For example, our engineering, we have a fast track option. The two year degree program, you can finish it within one year. And our MBA will have a fast track option. If you have a BBA degree, business degree, undergrad degree in business, you can transfer, you can receive some advanced standing. You can finish your MBA within one year. So that is a good news for you. Yes, yes. And and for MBA, uh, actually, I'd like to uh, know that uh, give a good news uh, that uh, Ellen said that for MBA, they were requiring GMAT uh, before, but now they are not uh, asking for GMAT, which is a very good option. And of course, you don't need any work experience and just you need to have ILTS 6.5 overall band and no band less than six. And also you can apply with six even ILTS with the ESL course or condition that you can apply. And uh, as you know that uh, uh, that uh, the Laurentian University is very good for mining. Uh, that the, that no other university has this best program. That you are very good for mining. Uh, and uh, the, you also have the MSc in engineering. Uh, in those who I mean, who can uh, do the MSc in engineering from which background? Any kind of engineering student can do that. Exactly. Any background engineering you can do our engineering. So our engineering has two streams: research streams and the course space, okay? So some students, they want to do a PhD afterwards or they want to study in focus of research, then you're welcome to apply for the research streams. In the research, we have actually like a eight or nine different options, you know, uh, like a mechanic, mining, and uh, chemistry, or like a double E. And if you're able to find a professor that fits your need, then you can apply to Long University, okay? Or civic engineering, and uh, also some like a uh, um, mechanic engineering, for example. But if you want to focus on core space, our core space has a three streams: uh, mining, mechanic, and a mining mechanic. Okay. Um, some of, yeah, now Canada only have a six universities in the mi open mining engineering, and we are the number one in Canada specialized in deep mining. Okay, that's good, and we'll have it question from Tafmina. actually she is from pakistan so she is asking like is the scholarship uh, uh, for academic excellence yes this scholarship is for your academic excellence definitely we will go for that part in future just be with us uh, we'll we'll discuss about scholarship in details so um, ellen that uh, so we have came to know about the programs and all these things but uh, one I, I have some more question that do you offer uh, in master's program apart from mba engineering do you have any other courses like computer science or economics or environment or some other uh, arts related program do you offer oh yes uh, we have a master degree program actually cover the six faculties. Uh, for example, our MA in humanities, psychology, sociology, history, and uh, in science we have architecture. Uh, uh, in uh, like sorry, biology, chemistry, and geology, and uh, you can name it. And so for the uh, business, we have an MBA. And also computer science. And uh, computer science actually is too popular. Our September intake already fall, so you have to wait until January. Okay, but but computer science, I think it's a research base, not a course base, right? It's a research base, but the good news is our professor is very easy. So uh, usually, okay. if you're a good student, you can find a professor. The reason is every professor is fall. Okay, we are also looking at open the course based uh, computer science. So we are evaluate and hopefully maybe like the year we have a course based computer science master degree then will be even quicker okay. and easier to get in. But so far computer science is already too popular and so we have a close day and they're open for reopen in January. And uh, we, I want to like a highlight uh, highlight our another master degree program our humanities. 
And some students, um, they don't know what is that. Some students, if they study, for example, like a English uh, philosophy, right? And the women study religion study, and the music, secret study. Those degree program students, you can apply to a humanity because we have all kind of degree option for you. You do not need a foundation supervisor, and you can directly apply. You just need to write our sisters what's your proposal of uh, interest in why you want to apply to our humanities, what to focus on. If a good student, they will take you and they will sign our supervisor to you. Exactly. And uh, I would like to have a very important question to you that how many students uh, you have in your campus, including uh, you know the international and domestic, and how many of them are international and from how many countries? Uh, for now, we have about close to uh, 10,000 students on campus, and the international student is about 7% of them international students from six to four different countries. Um, different from some university, you will see majority is from India or majority from China, right? But university is well balanced. So you, you, when you came here, you will find we are very typical Canadian university. So we have international students from everywhere. So you were from some European country, African country. Of course, Asia is our most important well, country as well. Yeah, so you, you were very diversified. And also you hear different language. It's very good for international student practice, the language skill. Because often I found like, a, I don't know about others in my Chinese student, uh, when they live in Toronto, okay? So they came to this other grade, they don't know how to speak English. Right, because our friend is Chinese, teacher are Chinese, they eat at Chinese restaurants. Okay, guys, you're in Canada, you should speak English, not Chinese. So, the mm -hmm. University have the best language uh, environment for international students. You can make a friend, you can make a local friend, make another international friend, and then you become a Canadian, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, let's have a video of those international students, a short video from different countries. So, so we'll have the video now, okay? My name is Anthony Olo. Uh, I'm from Nigeria. I'm a second year student here in Laurentian. I took biomedical biology yesterday, uh, last year, and now I'm in nursing. Um, I'm also a varsity athlete here in Laurentian for the track team. My name is Wong Hua Guo. I'm an international student from China. Um, most of my friends here call me Vivian because my Chinese name is a bit hard for them to pronounce and remember. Uh, I'm studying computer science and I'm about to graduate. My name is Ning, I'm a graduate mining engineering student. My name is Hassan Islam, I come from Bangladesh. Uh, I came here two years ago. I'm currently studying in Laurentian and my program is Bachelor of, uh, Bachelor of Business Administration, uh, BBA, and my specialization is International Management. My name is Helen, the actual legal name is Alina Balamut but it is pronounced incorrectly. I study biomedical biology in Laurentian University. I'm on second year right now. My name is Darshan Shah. Uh, I come from India. I am in my first year of engineering and mechanical engineering. I remember like when I did my first orientation week, uh, orientation uh, uh, station like in 2018. Yeah, 2018. I met a lot of people from India and then Italy. I didn't know that people from Italy came here. After we reach to the, the new subway center, we only like takes uh, uh, one and a half hours to hang around, and then just the shopping mall just closed. So we have no choice but to, like we we actually plan to have something to eat in the shopping mall, and then like you know. Uh, other plan for other activities but like since the more closed we have no choice but to like find another place to eat outside for summer holidays so it was a whole four months i had to live with my parents again which i really forgot how to because they have their own rules in the house and i needed to obey that and first of all they were really surprised how different i began speaking in a sense that well I began saying thank you and I'm sorry a lot, a lot more than I used to. We just usually skip it when it is implied. Canadians say sorry a lot, but that like that's a uh, that's a gesture of kindness. I, I must say, and there's no there's no shame in saying sorry so many times. That, that's fine. Like yeah. I I enjoy the caring 
part of uh, of nursing because I I love like a one to one kind of thing with like patients and stuff. So I feel like I I'll be pretty good at uh, becoming a nurse. Like yeah, because I I enjoy caring for people and stuff. When I first got in, I was in commerce, and then I did commerce for nah, I'd say a year and a bit. And then I found out, no, that's not the one that I want to do. I mean, I could, but it's not very interested in it. So I was thinking of uh, switching programs and stuff. And getting into mining is, I, I wasn't really know what I wanted to do. But back then, my roommate, um, they were both in engineering and they encouraged me to try it out. So I was like, cool, that sounds like a cool program to go. And I got in and it, everything worked out really well and I like it so far. Yes, uh, it's a great video uh, from uh, some students and even I can see that some among students also uh, was talking in this video and sharing uh, his experience as well. So very, yeah, very good. That, yeah. The Bangladesh student, actually, he has a very interesting like, uh, experience in Canada, in Laurentian University. He is a transfer student. I had asked him, why you choose Laurentian? He said, because Laurentian gave him the most transfer credit. He applied like five universities, but, but he chose us. And then during his two year study at Laurentian, he found a part time job in Canada Revenue Agency, which is the federal government job. He was doing his co-op and a part-time job where and he was so happy and he had the best experience with that. Wow, great. And uh, so, uh, Ilan, uh, now we'd like to talk about the fees structure, you know, that we have talked about university campus and all these things we have discussed, but the most vital part of the, the fees structure of uh, Laurentian University for undergrad and postgrad. Would you please explain about this part? Sure. So for the undergraduate degree program, we have a four type of phase, okay? So the most popular, the most degree program, most of them is 27,000 for one academic year. So from September to April, 10 courses. And for business, it's about $28,000 a year. And uh, for engineering and uh, architecture, a um, little higher, they are 33,000 and 34. Because the two degree programs has more credit and some program has like a material, the workshop. Otherwise, uh, for international student, you look at the 27 or 28 for most of the degree program. Wow, great. And, yeah. and, and what are the postgrad? For the postgraduate, and uh, if you are looking to the research based program, most of them is $21,000 for a year, the whole year, three semester. Each semester is $7,000. And uh, you usually do two years. And uh, for some program, it uh, has a cheaper tuition fee. For example, our uh, engineering, the fast track engineering, is only 28,000 for the whole program, 10 courses. 28,000 wow. for the whole program. Yeah. And uh, for the MBA, MBAs depend how many courses you have to take at us. So the MBA the range is from 45,000 to 78,000, depending on how many courses you have to take with us. Okay, and for Masters of Engineering, the MSc in Engineering, you are, you talked about like 28,000 for the whole program. So if they yes. do it in two years or one year, so if the, the fees is same? It's up to you. It's up to you. <coughs> okay. So you can you can finish within one year or up to two years because it's 10 courses. You can take three courses one semester or two courses one semester, depending on how good are you or how much you can handle the courses. Okay, doesn't matter, you finish in two years, it's still 28,000, because you, you pay back course by course. It's like a 2,800 one course. Okay, and you know that always, uh, students always pay the fees uh, actually in a flexible way, like if it is by installments, that's better. So how is your, the payment policy or payment procedure of uh, the tuition fees in Laurentian? Okay, so for the undergraduate program, you pay by semester, okay? So you pay each semester. You pay from January to um, uh, April or from September to, to December. And for the master, if a research base, you pay by semester. So each semester, $7,000. And for the course based MBA and engineering, you pay by course. You take three courses, you pay three courses. You take two, you pay two. Yes, very flexible. It's very flexible, yes. yes. Exactly. And what are the yeah. co-op uh, co uh, opportunities in your 
post grad and undergrad level what kind of co op opportunities you have in the paid internship um, so the co op opportunity like our, our business engineering computer science and uh, those popular program for international students they all have a co op opportunity so co op you start from after you finish your first year you start from second year so you can do either during the summer break you know undergraduate degree program in our, in canada you have a three semester but you the student only take from september to april so may june july august you can do call up it's a paid job okay so and uh, some students maybe do call up to do the whole year for example the lean the girl she uh, switched from a business to uh, engineering she took a one year in her third year she took a one year to call up and come back fourth year okay during the one year call she got a full-time job the company told her you finish your degree come back okay exactly. so she, she she went back the company so co-op and uh, it's a paid uh, job I, I told my student you must do co-op it's because it's good to help you one economically you can make some salary two you can gain some working experience and the working experience is related to your study subject you're not the only working in the restaurant or working in the Walmart uh, just make some money but you gain experience that help you build up your resume and the found a job exactly exactly and i would like to add some more things like dear student that is the beauty of canadian education that you can enjoy co-op which is paid internship sometimes as a student you are eligible definitely you are eligible to do part-time works 20 hours per week, which is really odd job it's not a company job or it's not a relevant job according to your uh, uh, relevant to your subject so co-op is something a full-time job it's relevant to your courses and you will work in your relevant industry so it will give uh, you the uh, work experience not only salary you will get a good salary definitely and also you will get exposure you will get exposure and you will get the full-time work experience so you can also mention in your cv that you have uh, the uh, full-time work experience with some company during your study so co-op is not such a uh, thing that you can only earn uh, definitely you can earn and you can recover some of your some portion of your tuition fees so far we can calculate that in some cases you can also recover one third of your um, uh, tuition fees from co-op but the thing is that once you finish the degree once you finish the degree you will be immediate uh, you can connect immediately with your company where you have done co-op and if the uh, employer is satisfied with you during co-op so definitely they are they are gonna pick you up uh, after your graduation so co-op is a very vital part in canadian education system that student actually really need to know you can check uh, every university website even laurentian they have a very good co-op structure so you can also do co-op uh, um, one year also because three terms also you can do co-op and truly speaking through co-op you can manage your some of your tuition fees and also you will get the connectivity with the company as well as the work experience because so far i believe work experience uh, is the most important capital in your career rather than the money so it's very important just just think for it so now we'll talk about the attractive scholarship part of laurentian university so before going that we have a very attractive video for a scholarship we'll have this video okay Considering studies in Canada, it's an outstanding destination and home to Laurentian University. This year, Laurentian launched Canada's best international scholarship program. Its goal? Recruiting the best minds and providing them with the brightest of futures. With Laurentian's program, international students can qualify for up to $60,000 in scholarships over the course of their studies. That's right, $60,000 towards your university degree. That's no small change. Laurentian's investment is simple. Bright minds, brilliant future. Discover your path at Laurentian.ca. Yes, it's a very attractive scholarship that the Laurentian is yes. offering and uh, the people are watching that in the screen on the screen it is mentioned the scholarship up to 60000 so they must be waiting for uh, this scholarship uh, figure actually it's a big amount and uh, we'll be before going to that part we'll take another question uh, from Shahriar Mojumdar can i apply without IELTS yes definitely you can apply without IELTS uh, uh, definitely conditionally you can apply but 
of course you need to submit your ielts later on uh, for visa purpose because uh, we don't want anyone to apply for visa without ielts so it will be problem but at this moment you know that all ielts center test centers are closed because of lockdown because of covid 19 so all the universities most of the universities from canada they are accepting duolingo and duolingo you need to get uh, 1 110 or one on 10 plus uh, to uh, you know that to be eligible for the main program and duolingo for duolingo test uh, the registration fee is very simple like only 50 dollar and you can do it from your home and you can get the results by 48 hours so it's a very good option for you that the canadian universities they are accepting duolingo uh, instead of ielts so you just don't worry you just apply right away without your ielts and later on you just need to submit duolingo test score for Jan till January 2021. And uh, if you would like to send your documents, our email address is here, our contact number is here. Please do contact us. We will try to help you as an approved agent of Laurentian University. So, Elian, so now we need to talk about the scholarship. So, what is the magic of, uh, you know, the, what is the, I mean, uh, uh, the magic of 60,000 Canadian scholarship? I mean, what is the what is the story behind this and how and in what way students can achieve that? And what is the scholarship policy for your undergrad and postgrad courses? Um, yes. So as the video said, uh, Laurentian University has the best scholarship for international students. The beauty about the scholarship is it's not only for one or two. It's for all of you if you meet the academic requirements. The magic is the, your GPA. If you have a GPA 5 out of 5, from the high school, okay, you are HSC, uh, and uh, you will get $15,000 interest scholarship and also renewable. If you can maintain 90% at a large university every year, you will get a $15,000 scholarship up to 60000 So the magic is you. You can have a good GPA, you will get a scholarship. If today you have 10 students applied from your company, they both have a 5.5, the 10 of you will get a scholarship, no limit. And the second one, for the if you have a low 5.5, okay, you have a second option. So our second tier of scholarship, if you have a 3.5 out of 5, you will get, equal to our 80%, you will get a $10,000 scholarship for the first year automatically. If you can maintain your average 80% at a Laurentian University every year, you got a $10,000 renewable up to 40000 So we want a smart student, we want a hardworking student. So if you have a good GPA, you apply. You do not need to apply for the scholarship itself. We will automatically issue the scholarship based on your average, your high school average. And also the scholarship also given to the college student if they want to upgrade degree to university or the university student who want to apply to Laurentian as a transfer student. Okay, so based on university average or your college average, we give you scholarship. And it's for the open enrollment degree program, for example, our computer science, business, all arts program, and other science program, they are all qualified eligible for the scholarship. Only a few programs do not have it. So nursing, midwifery, architecture, education, mechanic, engineering, those programs do not have it. Otherwise, the rest of the program have scholarship. Yes. What about the postgrad? So for the postgraduate, yeah, for the postgraduate, we have a lot of different scholarships available for students. And uh, for example, if you apply for the research-based program, for example, research-based engineering, computer science, psychology, sociology, history, all the arts program, and if you have a GPA 75% uh, out of 100, we will give you $9,000 scholarship for every year up to two years. So automatically you got a scholarship. We call the graduate teaching as, uh, assistant yes. scholarship. Yeah, $9,000. So your tuition fee is 21000 It's almost half your tuition fee. And then you are working for the professor like 10 hours a week. It's a paid mm -hmm. like uh, internship. And on top of that, if you apply for the PhD, you got the thirteen thousand dollar a year. If you have a seventy five percent, this is an automatic gift to everybody. But then we also have another type of a scholarship for the student that you have to apply. Okay, so looking at the website, we have all kind of international scholarship for the different degree program. You have to apply the scholarship. 
some students even got the full scholarship, like uh, everything is paid. Then you have to talk to supervisor. If the supervisor has the funding for you, and you are lucky, you got a full internship. Exactly. So, uh, so Elian, I have some specific question about some postgraduate courses. Like you have re a research program in which subject? Like engineering, you have computer science, yes. Uh, yes. you have uh, biology, uh, geology, and some other courses. Chemistry. Like, right? yeah. Chemistry. Yeah. Okay. So in house, that case, administration. Yes. Yeah, so so like that, that the, case, the uh, tuition fee is like twenty-one thousand for per year, per right? Year. So yes. uh, a year. So in that case, the how much scholarship they will get? Like. Uh, Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Seventy. Yeah, with a seventy-five percent or higher. Nine thousand. Oh, wow, it's a good, it's a good uh, good uh, good amount. Exactly. Exactly. So the the tuition fee is cheaper than college. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and 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 I would like to say, students, our students, that if you compare with the undergrad scholarship, for example, if you have five out of five in uh, both SSC and HSC, now you compare that the tuition fee. If you see the thirty thousand Canadian dollar per year, if you see, so it's coming one lakh uh, twenty thousand Canadian dollar per to, for the whole courses. So, like, you if only you get, pay twelve. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you if it is like uh, if you get sixty thousand scholarship, uh, then you see that your your fees will be only sixty thousand uh, uh, in the half of that, and if you get co-op and if you can earn thirty thousand more through co-op, then you see your course fee is only thirty thousand. So it's yeah, like you know that uh, it's almost free. I would say that you know, if you have. I, I, I will say that too. Yeah, I will yes. say that too. <laughs> and uh, and uh, of course, of course, it's, it's not easy to get. Definitely, definitely, you should have a good GPA. A GPA, you should have a good performance because. This scholarship is not will not be given at a time. Definitely, it will be renewed uh, year by year. So uh, once you get the fifteen thousand for the first year, to get the same scholarship in the second year, you must have a good percentage, like about above ninety percent. Minimum eighty percent. Minimum eighty percent. Yeah, ninety percent. You got the fifteen thousand. If you drop to like a, above eighty percent, you will got a ten thousand. So you can still have a you need a ninety at least eighty percent. So I would exactly. say like a 90 percent uh, is very difficult. I understand yeah. that, but we exactly. have still got the 90 percent. But the 80 percent is doable. 80 percent yes. is doable. Like I studied at the university uh, for two years, and my average was 86, and I did a master wow. degree program. So you are a it's brilliant possible. student. Oh, I'm just average. I'm average. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 86, 86 actually, because in my graduation I got. Maximum seventy-eight percent, so I cannot, I cannot <laughs> work from that. So oh, you, 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 you are busy with another sense. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so I think fifty-six is a very good, good uh, average. So, yes, the scholarship is a very good. Uh, uh, there is a good opportunity in Laurentia that you have the scholarship opportunity because there are so many universities that are offering a scholarship because with, because there is too much competition. But Laurentia, different public university in postgrad and undergrad in both levels, you can achieve. You can try to apply for a scholarship, and if you have the good background, definitely it's a very good thing. So uh, now we'd like to talk about the the most another most important part about the living expenses and about the accommodation that you offer on campus and off campus. So what is the your accommodation opportunities in off on campus and what is the in off campus, uh, and how is the average living expense in Sudbury? Okay. So um, if you want to live on campus, Laurentia University the, has the best advantage. We have eight buildings, resident building. We can accommodate 1,600 students live on campus. For the fourth year on the graduate student, it's 100% guaranteed. You apply before June 1st, and we guarantee you will have a resident on campus. On campus, the, the, the fee is that you pay one semester or one year, so you can pay semester by semester. So eight months is about 7,900. And uh, up to 8,500, uh, 8,500 8, a year. So eight months from like uh, Jan, September to next like, April. Okay. So if you found that a little bit too costly for you, you can absolutely leave off campus. So Saturday have many many different uh, options for you. You can either rent a bedroom, or you can rent an apartment. Uh, one bedroom, or you can rent two bedroom apartment. You can share with the friends. So the cheaper, the, the, the lower, like you can go like a, a $400 a, a bedroom, right? $500 a bedroom. Or if you want your own apartment, like a 700, 800, you have apartments. If it's a two bed apartment, about like a 900 to, to uh, a thousand, a two bedroom apartment. So compared with Toronto, 
it's a, almost half price. For rental, you need a two thousand or three thousand half apartment. It's a very expensive. So Sudbury has a very like uh, affordable living cost. And for your uh, another cost, you have to consider pay like a bus, internet, or food. So I would say a year, one year, you put in everything. Internet student, you are looking at a budget like a, a ten thousand to fifty thousand dollar based on your living standard for international student living in Sudbury. Okay, that's great. And uh, one thing we need to know that that in some cities we have found in Ontario, basically they are offering like free bus pass for in the local cities. I mean, inside the city. So in Sudbury, there is an option that students can uh, move. Yes. Uh, you know that with the free bus pass or the local transportation yes. is free for them. Yes. Is it like that? Yes. The okay. the free bus for the student from September to April is a free. because uh, you pay to your student association fee, you get a Laurentian student car. The student car is a bus. It's your bus pass. You can use other car, take a bus for free for the whole uh, academic year. So only in the summertime, uh, you have to pay the bus for the summertime. No, summer, summertime home. they are earning. Summertime yeah. they are earning. So you are not, you are not here. You are doing the co work or you are going for or doing internship or mm -hmm. doing a summer job. So it's a exactly. free bus ride for both undergraduate and the master students. Exactly, and uh, you know that from South Asia. Uh, who are going from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, or from Bangladesh? So they must be looking for to do some part-time jobs on camp, either on campus or off campus. So what is the opportunity of doing part-time job during the study in on campus and off campus? Uh, for the on, on campus, job, we have two type of on campus job. One is we call the uh, working study. Is a university uh, create some uh, position for student to apply? And then you you apply you working on campus. If you are uh, uh, that's why they gotta pay to you like uh, the minimum wage or someone giving you higher salary until the minimum wage is fourteen dollars an hour, and uh, some have a higher maybe like a eighteen nineteen twenty depends. And uh, another is uh, like uh, some part time job available uh, on campus as well. So if you all uh, working on campus, you can work full time. So there's no limitation. You can work it as long as uh, you can handle like a 30 hours, 40 hours, for example. If you're all uh, working off the campus, um, Canada I allow international students work off campus uh, every week uh, up to 20 hours a week. So off the campus, depend on what you can study, what is there. We have some students working in the bank, and uh, some working in the grocery store, the restaurant, or some hardware store, or a computer company, or in the mining. So working the part time. During the weekend, during the evening, or whenever they have no work, right? So that is a part-time job. So the salary from like a minimum fourteen dollar up to like a twenty or thirty, depending on your scale. So in the summer time, so if you are not taking any course in the summer from May, June, July, August, you can work full time. Okay, so up to like a thirty-six hours or forty hours, you can work full time. Is I allow the bar government. So our international students use the opportunity working full time to gain some like income to support themselves during the study. Great, great. And uh, so uh, we are just end of the live session. So we have some more topics to be discussed. Number one is application process and about the policy of COVID-19 that how you are maintaining your policy for uh, next intake. So we'll go for that uh, uh, topics. But before that, we'll have a video that why students should choose Laurentian that students are saying why Laurentian? Okay, so let's have the video. Um, it's a smaller community compared to like say Toronto or Vancouver and stuff. So like everyone is closer together and um, yeah, smaller community and then you get more experience to get to know people better and plus the tuition here is relatively cheaper than like say U of T or UBC and stuff. So I chose Laurentian because as uh, Laurentian is in um, Sudbury and Sudbury is um, like surrounded with mines and um, like it has historical like it has past of various like nickel deposits and all and th that's the reason there are more mines here and um, I, and I chose mechanical engineering just just because there's so much scope as a mechanical engineering in mining and in other activities too. Uh, 
So that's why I chose lunch. Um, first of all, like the the major they're offering is very um, like appeal to me. I've always al- I've always very interested in learning like the computer science field, um, and also like before I come here, my supervisor is pretty nice to me. He offered me. Um, I told him a lot about the uh, my concerns, like whether I could um, get used to a new environment and things like that. They're all very helpful, and they. Um, a lot of friends here. They help me found the, the the place to stay, and they give me a lot of help. So and a confidence. Yeah. It's a funny story. Like I, I uh, when I was studying, uh, basically I'm, I did two years back home, like in Bangladesh, in Brack University, it's in Dhaka, over there. And I was planning on transferring to another university in Canada. So I was looking for other, all other universities. And over there, uh, since I was a trans, I was transferring my credits. And then I was just looking for all the universities, and I, then, I, then I applied to Laurentian, and they accepted all of my credits. So yeah, and I did some research on those universities and their programs, and like the careers after the after my graduation. And I looked at all the positives and pros and cons, and I picked this Laurentian. Yes, uh, Ellen, it was, it was something that from the inner students they were saying about Laurentian. So I have a question from this video I found that one of the Bangladeshi students, uh, they went through the trade transfer. So what is the opportunities for the trade transfer? Suppose some students are starting in Bangladesh, they have finished two years, three years in Bangladesh and they completed some credits in Bangladesh, then how they can easily transfer the credits to your university? Um, Laurentian University is actually a uh, well-known, uh, the most flexible uh, transfer credit policy for international students, including Canadian students. Mm-hmm. And most of our arts program, business program, and the science program, you can transfer up to three years. So that's been said. You only need to study minimum one year at Laurentian. You can get a degree from us. And our engineering degree program is more special. You need a minimum two years with us. And uh, some program um, a little more. Uh, uh, looking at the course curriculum, so but in general, you can transfer for uh, credit to Laurentian University up to three years, course by course. So, for example, you study three years in Bangladesh in business, it's possibly all the three years you transfer to Laurentian. If you have like a 65% for each of your courses, and can be transferred. So, business, computer science, arts are very flexible for transfer. Wow, great. And, and uh, suppose if they finish uh, 50% of uh, credits or like uh, 25% or 30%, they can easily transfer, right? Exactly. Up to three years. Yeah, you can transfer up. up to three years. Up to three years. That's a great option. And dear students, I'd like to say that suppose if you have completed two years in Bangladesh and if your credits are completely accepted by Laurentian for another two years, so what is happening, you know, that within two years you can after, uh, after <laughs> you can apply for PR, so you don't need exactly. to wait for four years. So it's a very good exactly. option, two years in Bangladesh and two years in Canada, and then you can apply yes. for PR. And as yes. Ian said that in uh, Sudbury, you don't need to go for one year work permit, uh, I mean one year uh, work experience. So once you get the job offer, you can immediately apply for PR. So it's a great, great achievement of opportunity. And uh, so Ellen, now we'd like to talk about the application process that you are, you know, that uh, you have actually, and what is your policy uh, of the your application pro- uh, process during the pandemic situation, COVID-19? Uh, during the pandemic situation, we are very flexible on some uh, required document uh, for the undergraduate degree program. And uh, when you apply, you can directly apply online. That your application fee is one hundred twenty nine dollar, and uh, we only need your high school transcript, your grade 10, 11, 12, the mark sheet. If you already finish your high school, we need your high school diploma, and it can be official. Okay. So you just need to upload your uh, official document to the our applicant portal. We will issue a conditional offer. The official one can be sent to us uh, before you enroll in the university, or you can bring the official one with you and uh, give it to our admission office. And uh, for the else, we award for the language requirement. And if you have no uh, have not done any language requirement, we do not need it. We we'll give you a conditional offer. Or if you already did else or some another uh, language test, you can send us an official one. We will give you a conditional offer. The official one can be sent after. It's a very easy, very directly application. 
And uh, for the master degree program, and uh, we uh, issue a condition offer based on your official transcript as well. So your diverse transcript can be official, you upload to the system, and uh, we ask in WES uh, after, we give you the condition offer. And also for the MBA program, we used to have asked in GMAT, we waive the GMAT. We don't need the GMAT at all for the September intake. So we give all kind of flexibility for students, accommodate them as much as we can. So if some students are doing A-level uh, IB system, then you can, based on whatever the school gives you, the your current average will accept the current average. If your current average can be considered a final, we will stack them as well. So we are very accommodated for international students during the pandemic. Okay, that's a great opportunity. And for the uh, research based uh, pro program, like they need to find the professor uh, before uh, I mean, getting the conditional offer letter, or just they will get the conditional offer letter, then they need to find the supervisor. What is the policy for applying? Uh, for, the, for the research base, uh, your students should have found a supervisor uh, before they apply. Um, before because they it's research apply. based, yeah, if, if it's, because it's research based, if there's no supervisor accepting you, you applied, probably your application will be sleeping in the university CP department for a long time until somebody chooses you, okay? So for the student advantage, I strongly recommend it. You find a supervisor, then you apply, okay? But I will tell our international student for the engineering. Engineering will have a research base and a course base. But if you couldn't find a supervisor, my recommendation for you is apply for the course base, okay? Yeah, then you came to Long University, you start taking your first semester, you get to know the system, you get to know the professor, you talk to the professor, professor, oh, you are pretty good. Then you can transfer to research base after you come to Laurentian, when you get to know the system. Actually, that is happening for half of students that switch to the research base from the course base, if they want to. That's yeah. great. And and uh, for the master's program, you, are, you have talked about the WES. So WES is re required actually for master's program because uh, nowadays uh, some universities, I mean, most of the universities in some cases, they are not, they are not taking, they are not asking for WES, the credential equivalency. So what is the policy so, for Laurentian? Yeah, so the WES is only required for the master's degree program. And uh, okay. before student went apply, we did a WES, but now we are asking WES after we receive the, uh, our conditional offer. Then, because we understand that now universities are locking down, WES are working from home, it's slow, so we allow them to send a WES before the United degree program, in the master okay. program. For, under, for undergraduate, we do not need a WES, only for the master. Masters, okay. Yeah. Great. So, uh, Ellen, we are just end of the live session. We have covered the most of the topics uh, so if you can remember any kind of any topic that we have missed out uh, to discuss is there any point uh, i think, I, I think we side? covered we covered the pretty good yeah most yes, of yes. Covered. yeah so my last one i will uh, my suggestion for the student is uh, prepare yourself for the september intake our undergraduate program most of them are still open for the september intake you can still apply and for the master program, some are still opening for the September intake. However, if you apply for September, you couldn't make it, don't be worried. We will help you before admission to January. Okay, yeah. so we are, yeah, for January intake. So this is the option for you. Try your best. We are here to help you. And um, studying in Canada and then moving in Canada and then living here is possible. I, I was an international student. I can make it. You can make it. Exactly, exactly. Definitely because uh, we found uh, that uh, most of our university people, once upon a time, they were a student in different universities. So if they can do, if they can made it, uh, make it, so definitely you also can be uh, there as their position in future, just need to think positively. So, so uh, Ellen, we would like to, uh, no, we would like to closing the, you know, the live session for tonight. And uh, if you have anything to say, last, any last word you'd like to say to our viewers? Yeah, last of all, I want to thank you again for inviting us for the live session. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Ale. And also for the student, uh, for the parents, you're looking at my, our live session. Thank you for the evening. And uh, stay safe and uh, stay healthy. I look forward to meeting you in September or in January. Yes, and I'd like to say again that be, be in your home, stay in your home and be safe and try to make others safe as well. And be positive, be motivated 
and try to apply if you are interested for canada a really prominent consultant is such a platform uh, who are working for canada since uh, since last couple of years and they are our success is really very well so you can be in touch with us we are ready to help we will be happy to help your uh, case uh, definitely so uh, good night and we'll see again in any, any other live show in future so let's uh, let's have a good night and goodbye thank you thank good you night, so much Elian, for joining thank the live you. session thank you thank you goodbye yeah bye goodbye